What's up guys, it's Aristov FPV here with a brief video showing my INF settings for automatic takeoff on my VTAIL Pusher UAV. I'll just show you guys what I changed in the configurator in order to get these effortless launches and after that I'll go out on the field to demonstrate as well. And here are the settings with addressing the threshold velocity first. This velocity is the velocity for the flight controller to kickstart the motor from its idle throttle to its launch throttle after detecting it. I've set it to 120 centimeters a second or just 1.2 meters a second, which is close to the minimum of 100 centimeters a second. This value has been set this low to ensure the velocity detection after a throw. The detect time has been changed to 20 milliseconds, meaning the flight controller will activate throttle in a fraction of a second after detecting the minimum g-force and velocity. And at next, I changed the motor spin-up time, which has been set to 900 milliseconds. This is the time of changing from idle throttle to launch throttle. The value was set aside to prevent a potential motor stall, which can occur but is eliminated when the throttle gradually spins to its launch throttle. And at last, I changed the launch timeout, which is the time that the aircraft keeps climbing in its preset climb angle after launch before changing into the mode I wanted to change to on my transmitter. So after saving these settings into the configurator, I brought the aircraft to the flying spot and brought an HD camera and onboard DVR recorder to check and analyze the aircraft, how it behaves on the automatic takeoff and change values if I have to. This time I'm just gonna throw it without the shake and bake method. So now I'm just gonna arm it and raise my throttle and then set the mode switch. Go. Took a pretty long time for the motor, more than that I would like. So let's do that one more time. So I'm arming it, raising my throttle, and setting the mode switch. The motor takes way longer to remain silent than I would like, so I just have to go to the settings and change that.